Love Meghan Markle style or hate it? You're not alone. It's all about the Duchess of Sussex's latest maternity moments on this episode of Royal Roundtable from Page Six Style. So Megan's known for switching up her style. We've seen her in everything from trench dresses to powerful pantsuits to sequin gowns. And for the first half of her pregnancy, that really didn't change much. But lately, as she approaches her due date, I've noticed her falling into somewhat of a style formula. It's a shift dress that skins her baby bump, which she wears with a more form-fitting jacket that shows off her shape. So do you think she's gotten too predictable? Folks, that's for you to decide. So let's break down some of her recent looks. Let's start with this green Urdem coat she wore with a matching mm. dress. Did you have any thoughts on it? It was fine. You know, <laughs> I liked the color. I thought it was ill-fitting, but I think everything that she wears is ill-fitting. So it was nothing new for me. Okay, what okay. Do you think? I mean, I loved the color. I think Megan looks her best in really bright, bold hues, and this mm. emerald was no exception. I did love that she chose a Canadian designer for Commonwealth Day, though, because yes. Canada's part of the Commonwealth of Nations, so it was a nice little tip of the hat. I also love that she wore a Canadian designer since she used to live in Canada when she was filming Suits. That's true. When she That's was true. an actress and not a royal. So she wore it with this black Givenchy box clutch that we've seen her carry pretty much all the time. Her favorite I, accessory. It's her favorite accessory. I kind of love that for how expensive this piece is. She's actually like getting the appropriate mileage totally. out of it. Um, I mean, that's exactly what I would do if she's I spent being, this much on a bag. She's being practical. Being practical. Also practical was her hair. Very easy, effortless, low bun. She's been rocking that lately, mm -hmm. uh, later in her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a good look for her. Yeah. So uh, I found some comments on social media that were not so nice about this look. Uh, some people were saying it looked like an old carpet. Oh, no. They were asking where the royal tailor is, which I guess the she likes, is missing. So. She likes a boxy fit. So let's talk about this black and white printed dress she wore. Now, most of the things that Megan wears tend to be pretty pricey, and relatively speaking, this race dress at $345 was more accessible, so that was nice to see. However, she wore this on International Women's Day, and Reese is not a female-led brand. She did work in some nice representation with her um, Alexander McQueen blazer, designed by Sarah Burton, um, Stella McCartney clutch, and I think her earrings are Jessica McCormack, so she had some nice nods to the cause in there. So for me, this outfit was a huge miss. I absolutely hated it. But that doesn't go for everyone, as we did post this on our Instagram page, and it was Jersey approved because JWoww liked it. And Kensington Palace actually also posted a video on their Instagram account of Megan talking on a panel in this outfit on International Women's Day, and a bunch of celebrities liked it, including David Beckham, Carly Kloss, and Chelsea Handler. Okay, so you know, she didn't wear a dress by a female designer, but in this case, at least, her words spoke much louder than her outfit. Absolutely. So lastly, I want to talk about this gold brocade look that she wore to a celebration for Prince Charles. Yes, Duchess. You I loved love it. this look. It's probably my favorite look she's worn throughout her whole pregnancy. I thought she looked gorgeous and glowing and the metallics just reflected that. It was, it looked perfect on her. I loved her suede pump, which I normally don't, but I thought in this situation it looked great. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the best we've seen her look in a while, I think. Totally, and like you said with the pumps, I really liked that she mixed textures. It was a monochromatic neutral look from head to toe, but she had like the taupe suede of her shoe and yes. that kind of like oyster colored satin clutch. So she, yes. you know, kept it from being boring even though it was all in the same palette. It was just so pretty. She looked like a princess. Princess. <laughs> you know, she's at a royal event, acting like a princess, not like an actress, like she did when she was in New York and had her very flashy baby shower that we heard the palace was not too happy about. So Kristen, what did social media say about this look? So I saw on Twitter a lot of people agreeing with us. Mm -hmm. A lot of people love the metallics on Megan, but I did see one comment that stuck out to me that said it looked like an old upholstered couch. Some people just don't get brocade. So you know, maybe she couldn't sip on any bubbly at this party, but that didn't stop her from dressing like a tall drink of champagne. And speaking of champagne, Megan can't drink to that, but we sure can. Stick with Page Six Style for all things royal fashion. Cheers. Cheers.